Okay, so again, good morning. So welcome to our lesson number six. So what do we have in lesson number six? I'm, uh, again, the materials are already uploaded on your Moodle, so please just go there. Okay, so let's see what is our topic. Okay. So here in our PowerPoint is actually a combination of uh, we're going to just um, give you some date functions. Um, and then later on, we're going to continue with the conditional formatting. OK, but let's start with the date functions. OK, in our previous exercise, uh, when we use sum if and count if, we have um, we have an, uh, a discussion there, or I have discussed that you have to check your um, Excel function, okay, Excel files or Excel application uh, regarding the dates. So the format there is either American or English. I mean, it's not going to rem uh, be changed. The format of this cannot be changed. So once you installed it, uh, it's going to be either American English or uh, uh, format for the date is American or the British format. OK, so what's the difference? So usually when you say uh, American, um, the month will be the first one and then the day, then the year. And then if it is British, it will be uh, the day, the month and uh, the year. OK, so let's see here what are the date functions. Uh, so second slide. So you have here today, now, Workday, Workday International. OK, so this is Workday International. Network Days and Network Days International. So let's start with today and now. What's the difference? So it returns the current date and returns the current date and time. So let's go and open a blank Excel file. OK, so I'm going to end this and I'm going to share to you uh, a blank Excel file. OK, so this is our Excel file. I just uh, went here. OK. So now, since it is a function, anywhere here, we're just going to try it. When you say equals today, so it's a null function. You're familiar with this when you have, uh, uh, when you did your programming. When you say null inside the parenthesis, you don't have anything. Okay, so just press enter. What will it give you? It will give you the date today. So mine is. Uh, British uh, format so that the start here is uh, the day and then the month 04 and then the year 2020 okay so how about now what's the difference so just equal sign now and then null uh, arguments nothing is inside press enter so you can see this is just added with the time that I was doing this, or I press enter. You can see now it's 4 a.m. Okay, I have. Um, so the difference today is just the date, and then uh, now is uh, date and time. Okay, so let's end this again and switch back to the PowerPoint. So I'm going to the PowerPoint. OK, the next one is Workday. Workday returns a date before and after a specified number of days from the start date. So Monday to Friday, OK? So it's just Monday to Friday. So the count is by default. By the way, the Excel is uh, a US standard. Microsoft Excel is a US standard. So their weekdays there is Monday to Friday. Okay, Saturday, Sunday is a weekend. Okay, uh, now workday 
will give you a date. For example, I want to know uh, what is the date a 20 days from now. Okay, but considering only Monday to Friday. Now we can set it, set that up. It depends. So because this is American, by default, when you say work day, it's just Monday to Friday that he will consider as working day. Okay, but if you want to use this in other countries, okay, let's say here in Oman, of course, you know that our days here as work day Sunday to Thursday. Okay, and the weekend is Thursday. Uh, uh, Friday and Saturday. So you have to use the work day international. Okay. Uh, you have to specify the start date and then how many days is it after? So that means in the future or you want to know 20 days before today. So 20 working days. What's the date? Okay. So that means, for example, now is April 15. Okay. 20 working days from now, so maybe it's around April 9, I'm not really sure, April 8. Okay, so let's see what's the result of that. I'm going to uh, give you an example on our Excel. So there are two, Workday and Workday International. Okay, we're going to try that. So I'm going to stop this presentation and go to our Excel again. Switch back. Okay, so here I'm going to use that. I'm going to use the work day first. Work day, okay. Start date. So again, our format for the date that I'm using is this. So I have to follow that. Your Excel is your own, okay. You have to know what's date format and that's the way you're going to do it here. Okay, that's the way you're going to write it here. So let's say this is 15-04-2020. Okay, I just copied the date today. How many days? That is, let's say, I want to know 20 days from now. From now, so 20 working days by default. Now, the next argument is optional, holidays. For example, tomorrow is a holiday. So since we will count the number of days, therefore, if you put the day tomorrow, which is 16, sorry, okay, that's the holiday. And that means he's going to jump that date, okay, and he will continue counting 20 days from the date that you specified okay but for now let's just leave that i'm going to show you an example on that of this is the result work day 1504 uh 15 and then 20 days so 27 why 27 because you haven't formatted yet your cell remember the result of Workday and Workday International is a date. So therefore, you have to change this to date. Okay, from your number format, change this to long date. Okay, so this is wrong. So therefore, we have to change it the date first. Let me see what's... Uh, let me write again. Uh, do I need a double quotation mark? Yeah, okay, I need a double quotation mark. So this is 13 May 2020. Uh, so the day today, 20 days from now, working days, is 13 May 2020. So let me go to uh, the number format, more number formats, and let's see if it will show you the format cells. You can see here, I'm going to use this. Okay, this format is what I have by default on my Excel. Uh, number format, format cells, date, and then change it from here. You can see the sample. Press OK. 
Okay, so that's the answer to the question. Work day 15 for 2020. So you just need to put a double quotation mark on your date. Okay. Okay. Now, so let's change this again to date format. Okay, let's see if what number format did we use? Okay, so I changed this date format to this. So using the number format, don't forget, change it to date, long date, I use long date. So anyway, what I'm going to do is to try my another example, work day. The start date, I can use a function. Remember, in an argument inside the uh, parentheses, you can start a function. Okay, so let's say I use today. Okay, so what will be the result of today? The result of today is this one. So that's today. So let's say uh, I remove, um, I want 20 days after today. Okay, and I want that holiday. The holiday is, let me again, Put it 04 2020. What is this date that I was typing? 1604. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow I want it to be holiday. So let's see the result. Okay, you can see that the result is 14.5, May 14, instead of May 13, because he jumped on that day. Okay, so it's the same thing if you want before this date, it should be negative. Okay, but before I will go to this cell, long date, okay, uh, date fun, more number formats here, okay, uh, so I'm going to use work day and I'm going to use today. And I'm going to use negative 20. So if you use negative on that number, that means it's going to be before. Okay, so past. I'm going to not use a holiday. So answer is 18, 3, March 18. So 20 days working days before, okay, in American uh, setup, the work day is American setup, where in Monday to Friday is there. Um, regular weekday okay so that's the answer to this okay so let's say you want the setup in oman in oman you need to use workday international so for example you want to know how many days did or uh, if i submitted uh, a form and then they said okay you have to come back here uh after 10 working days to this office to claim the form if it is approved or not okay so let's say you submitted you go to a ministry you sign a form they said 10 working days okay so you have you can program it here so work day that international you can see it's showing here i'm just going to click it okay intl that intl international so it's just going to be the same format today, 10 days from now, okay? Now, after that, before it's just the same uh, format, start day, number of days, and then the weekend, okay? The weekend is a code. You can see here, what are the choices for the weekend, okay? And you can see what will be the weekend in Oman. It's Friday and Saturday, so just that's number seven. Okay, I will close the parenthesis because the next is holidays. If you want to remove holidays, then you can use that one. Uh, no, no, I'm just going to close the parenthesis. So check this out. Press enter. Oh, it's a code. So because it's not yet formatted, I'm going to go for more number formats, date, and I'm going to use the same that I, I used before. Okay, press enter. So that's April 29, 2020.
okay that's 10 days from now 10 working days from now okay so that's clear so um i will stop here i'm going to show you some more example on part two of this video lesson so i hope you learn something for the work day so let me just come back for uh the next lesson the next part of this lesson so see you